if you have trouble with your hp 1000 laptop and not starting windows operating system in your laptop and if you want to install windows operating system in your laptop and if you don't know about how to boot and install windows operating system on your laptop today i'm going to show you how to boot and install windows 10 operating system using this bootable usb drive today i'm going to show you how to make this types of bootable usb drive and how to format how to boot and install windows 10 operating system using this bootable usb drive hello friends i'm prajan rai and you are watching now mission top tech youtube channel so without any late let's get started so my laptop is not starting windows so today i'm going to format this laptop and install windows 10 operating system using this bootable usb drive so today i'm using this bootable usb drive to format this laptop uh, and install windows operating system and i have created bootable usb drive using uh, rufus software first of all i'm going to show you how to make bootable usb drive and after created bootable usb drive i will show you how to install operating system from uh, this bootable usb drive on my computer so first of all let's start how to make bootable usb drive okay to make bootable usb drive i'm going to open this rufus software here and you can also download this rufus software from google search and you can also download this software from link in the description below okay firstly i'm going to open this rufus software and as you can see this is the user interface of rufus software i'm using 3.20 version and here is nothing to show any usb drive so now i'm going to insert my usb drive in my computer and as you can see here it's showing one usb drive and now i'm going to choose boot image options i have already downloaded a windows 10 iso file here i'm going to using this iso file of windows 10 operating system so now i'm going to choose this iso file and here you can see image options will be set to standard windows installation and partition same you can choose mbr you can also choose gpt but my computer is old version my hp laptop has pentium celeron generation cpu processor so now i'm going to set as mbr in partition scheme so now i'm going to click on start button to start processing making bootable usb drive on my pen drive so now i'm going to click on start button and here status is showing deleting partition first this rufus software take action to delete partition and creating file system and writing this iso file on usb drive so now as you can see the status is showing copying iso file 1.5 percent we need to wait for 100 percent to complete process to making bootable usb drive so wait for a moment okay now complete the processing of making bootable usb drive so now i'm going to eject this bootable usb drive and close the rufus software so finally i have make this pen drive to bootable usb drive so now i'm using this bootable usb drive i will format this computer so so i'm going to insert this bootable usb drive in my computer after insert this bootable usb drive in my computer now i'm going to press ctrl alt and delete to restart my computer and while restart my computer now i'm going to press esc and now press f10 on my keyboard to 
inter bias setup and now i'm going to select system configuration option and then i'm going to choose boot options and press enter and then as you can see here it's showing uefi boot order and legacy boot order i'm going to choose legacy boot order so now i'm going to choose usb disket uh, usb hard disk options and press f6 or f5 to change value so now i'm going to press f6 to move on first legacy boot order and my notebook hard drive is set to second boot order and internal hard drive notebook hard drive is set to second legacy boot order and then now i'm going to press f10 to save and exit and press enter to confirm exit saving change and now while restarting press enter to load bootable usb drive when it's asking press any key boot from usb now as you can see our screen is set up starting and here we need to choose partition one that is system reserve and size is 500 mb first of all we need to choose this partition one and click on delete options and click on ok and as you can see it is changed to unlocated space and then we need to choose partition one that is shown as c drive on this pc so we need to delete this partition also click on delete and then click on ok and you can also delete other partition uh, or you leave this partition also i'm going to delete oem reserved drive also so now i'm going to delete this partition and then now i'm going to create this unlocated space partition one and system reserve partition and i leave this partition uh, you can also delete this partition to full format your internal hard drive but today I want to save the data of this partition so now i'm going to ignore this partition and now i'm going to choose unlocated space and click on new options and click on apply and ok and here you can see partition one and partition two has been successfully created partition one is system reserve partition and partition two is primary partition where we can install our windows 10 operating system or any operating system in your computer so now i'm going to click on format options and click on ok and after complete formatting uh, now i'm going to click on next to install windows operating system from my bootable usb drive so now i'm going to click on next okay as you can see this is windows setup screen and showing starting windows installing and as you can see getting file ready for installation is progressing 19 percent we need to wait for 100 uh, percent to complete this windows installing process and then after it's complete to 100 percent Okay, now our computer is restarting in 10 seconds. When restart this computer, we don't press any key on keyboard. Please ignore the keyboard button. Okay, now we don't press any key from keyboard. If you press any key on keyboard, you will restarting your Windows setup start to starting point. So, so ignore the keyboard in this time
Okay, our computer is restarting again. Okay, now we need to give a name to this PC. So now I'm going to type a PC name. Susan Rai. I have typed a username for this PC. So now I'm going to click on next and then you should set your password to your PC. Today I'm going to ignore this section. Today I won't give any password for this PC. So without input any password I'm going to click on next and now I'm going to choose accept options it's showing preparing windows it's take time little bit longer so while it's complete processing, we need to wait for a moment. Okay, finally, our Windows 10 operating system has been successfully open in my computer. Okay, after successfully complete Windows installing process, now I'm going to eject my bootable USB drive from my computer and now okay now it's complete to install Windows operating system software on my computer so now we can run this Windows 10 operating system and as you can see this is the Windows 10 operating system the status of Windows 10 operating system as you can see this is the Windows 10 operating system and now i'm going to close this window and as you can see you can feel full experience of windows 10 operating system and okay you can also format your computer and install windows 10 operating system like this okay thanks for watching the video if you like this video please like and share with your friends if you are new in my channel please subscribe to my channel I will meet with another useful video. Till the next video. Bye-bye. Namaste.